Hey guys, welcome back to Pi Spark for Beginners. We're in our last chapter about putting structure on our big data with Spark SQL. And in this section, we're going to take a look at number one, manipulating data frames with Spark SQL schemas. And secondly, using the Spark DSL to build queries for structured data operations. Manipulating data frames with Spark SQL schemas. In this video, we're going to take a look at number one, what are data frames? And number two, how do we use Spark SQL? Let's dive in and take a look. We're back in our Pi Spark Jupyter Notebook and we have our chapter six notebook up. The Spark SQL interface is very simple. And so taking away labels means that we're in unsupervised learning territory. And Spark has great support using Spark SQL to put structure in our big data so that we are tackling learning problems effectively. Again, to keep our videos consistent, we are looking at the same KDD cup data. We are first piping this text file into our raw data variable as shown in N1. The new thing here is we're importing two new packages from PySpark.SQL, namely row and SQL context. Using the SQL context, we create a new SQL underscore context variable that holds the object of the SQL context created by the PySpark. And because we're using the Spark context to start this SQL context, we need to pipe in SC as the first parameter of the SQL context creator. After this, we again take our raw data and map it with a comma split lambda function to create an object that holds our comma separated values. Now the next bit is where we get interesting. In N10, we're leveraging our new imported row object to create a new object that has defined labels to label our data sets by what feature we're looking at. So here we're taking our comma separated values and we're creating a row that takes the first feature and calling it duration, the second feature calling it protocol, and the third feature service. And this directly corresponds to our labels in the actual data sets. After this, we can create a new data frame by calling the function create data frame in our SQL underscore context. To create this data frame, we need to feed in our rows data object and the resulting object would be a data frame in DF. The last thing we need to do is to register a temporary table here we're just calling it RDD. And then the next magical bit is we can now use ordinary SQL syntax to query the content in this temporary table that is constructed by our rows. In our example, we are selecting the duration from RDD, which is a temporary table, where the protocol, as we have selected here, is equal to TCP and the duration, which is our first feature in our row, is larger than 2000. Lastly, we need to call the show function, and it will give us every single data point that matches this criteria. And that's all there is to it. We've learned about data frames. We've learned about Spark SQL.